Still in my music is, is what I've lived, what I've gone through, what I've socially been taught in the environment that I grew up in. And I'm cognitive enough, enough to know that it's wrong or whatever. And the majority of the time when I do make music, I try to be sensitive to, you know what I'm saying, what I, to the environment and all of my listeners. But every now and then, I mean, sometimes you just want to get in the studio and, and, and fully become yourself on a song. And you fully becoming yourself may involve one line that may upset a genre of people, you know what I'm saying? One group of people or whatever. And you gotta bite the bullet on that sometimes. I got a lot of we got a lot of music where people may hear one of our songs and think, oh, okay, these guys are putting women on the pedestal, treat them good. And then you got a other song that we make that people make with us and say, these guys are definitely misogynist. Ah, maybe it's just like some artists just specifically put songs out, this beat, this, this trick, this, this, all that. That's it, no, that's it. from the collection. 17 albums, straight trick, or whatever. Do I no, you can say bitch, though. I can say it. Yeah, okay, okay, well, this bitch, this, this. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't been on campus in a while, <laughs> My bad. <laughs> but anyway, and then you got other, um, other people's on the other side of the fence. They don't use the word at all, you know what I mean? I got some rappers who, we rap with that don't use the word bitch, don't use cuss words at all or whatever. And that's, I mean, if that's how they want to get down, that's it. But then you have other artists or whatever that choose to put themselves fully out, you know what I mean? Like, that's, that's kind of what I take my model out of. Like, I, I do my best to play my part and guide people in the right direction, but I don't try to fully become a person that I'm not, even though I know I'm in the process of changing to the person I want to become. So as far as music, I mean, you're going to get the full 360 degrees. Um, what we get wrapped up in as consumers is that the artist is something bigger than what we are. Um, that the artist is larger than life. Uh, that the artist can get away with saying and doing whatever because they have the notoriety, they have the fame, they have the money, they have the entourage. Um, they've got all of this that makes them the artist. But a lot of the artists don't have the identity. At the end of the day, when you strip away the entourage, the what have you, who is this person? I was raised in a household with my mom and my sister. My dad was gone at 12. Um, so I have a very strong passion for, for women. I like songs like Drink Till She Cute. My mom, my mom loves that song. Uh, <laughs> my mom, who was 52 years old, it, she came out and was in love with the song only because she knows what it's like to drink till he's cute. So what we say in our music is in fact, you know, you don't have to live by what I say. Um, if you've ever been to a club and you saw a chick who was kind of cute, but got cute as the night went on, for those of you who are 21 and over, um, <laughs> then, you know, um, then, then you understand the, the concept behind your tissue's cute. Um, it's nothing more than that. The music that, that the majority of us hear is out there because it makes money. Um, the opinions of some people as artists are their opinions simply because it makes them money. Nothing more than that. Um, when you have someone who doesn't care about you as a consumer, they don't make music for you. They make music for their children to eat. They make music to buy them clothes and to put roofs over their head. And that's what we felt to realize at the time. Hey, if, if, if a chick presents herself in a certain way, if you give off this certain light, people are going to treat you in that light that you give off. If I talk to you, and if I came in here with my pants down to my knees, and goes in my mouth and chains around my neck, y'all would automatically assume that I was a certain type of artist. I would have been one of those artists. He's one of those. Right? <laughs> and that's where we make the mistake. It's, it's always, oh, you're like this, or you're like that, or you're like that. We try to compartmentalize everything. We try to, okay, well, you're this, you're that, you're this, you have dreads, Brandon, so you can't, you, you got to smoke weed. You smoke weed, don't you, because you got dreads. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, let's, let's just be honest. Let's be honest. We spend entirely too much time trying to fit what's already put into place for us. 
what people put in place in our lives as opposed to this is my life. I'm gonna be here. You 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 decide to, to be who it is that you become. You decide you can make a choice to go to Florida State. Um, you made the choice to get higher education. You made the choice to take a class about hip hop. Um, at the end of the day, the choice is yours. Um, what was that? Uh, Captain Planet. The choice is yours. Straight up, y'all laughing at me. Or the power, the choice, whatever, guys. Yeah. yeah. Or the choice is the power. Man. Or the black sheep. You know, exactly. That's what I'm looking at. Hip hop. And you can get with this, or you can get with that. But at the end of the day, I mean, we. Yet again, it's it's all opinion based. You know, it's, uh, I, nothing of what I said in that verse is factual. Um, there was no one chick I was talking about. Um, when they told my boy it was like, yo, I got this song about bitches, you wanna get on it? I was like, duh. So they give me the beat. Give me the beat and I'll talk about it. I can talk about it all day. Um, only because of my personal situations with it. And it is what it is. At the end of the day, it's, you have the choice to either like the song or dislike the song. You have the choice to either listen to it or throw it out the window or use it as a coaster or give it to your friend who likes it. Preferably give it to your friend who likes it. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Um, the choice is yours. Um, the idea of intent is a good one. Um, a lot of things that, and I like what you said earlier, and I'm going to combine both of y'all real quick and pull a fusion. If you look at it. Um, I came from nothing. You came from nothing. Okay. Mine is uh, You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and nobody, I can, this is funny because he's from Gainesville and I'm from LA. We came from nothing. In the sense that in poverty neighborhood, people dying around you, um, people telling you what what you doing reading books, you smart, you think you're cool because you're smart, people ridiculing you for being smart. Then we came here. Uh show fam? Show something different. And then the people here, you know, um, like you said earlier, there's these type of people and that type of people. Um, <laughs> Oh, you black. You, you go to college. You go to fam, right? No. Oh, you go to TCC, right? Oh, you go to Florida State. Oh, you go to that school. Oh. Oh. No. Yeah, man. People are serious about yeah, that. Yeah, serious. Um, serious. You play football on basketball. Exactly. Oh, oh you yep. big. What, what you play? What you play? What you play? You on that line, ain't you? <laughs> now, I say all that to say this. We came from nothing, and we're able to come to college and have the opportunity to be afforded the opportunity to see the world um, for what it really is. Um, now we're in a position now where we're back in the real world, working jobs. Um, I work with people who, who barely got GEDs, and I graduated from here. But I, that doesn't mean anything um, in the sense that that doesn't make me a better person than them because I got a degree and they don't. We work the same damn job. We're paying the same damn bills. We both struggling. You know, so as an artist, my intent is to talk to the people who don't have anything and show them the world because I was able to see the world. So if that means I got to talk about a bitch, if that means I got to say drinks is cute, if that means I got to talk about, I'm going to take you to the crib and give you what you like and put your feet on the ceiling like curly fries. If I got to do that so people can listen. Yes, curly fries. If you check the one with curly fries is, you ain't doing your job. Curly fries. I am so happy I have to be your camera right here. But I'm on the because I, you have to be able to talk to people in a way that they understand you. If we came in here, yeah, you know what I'm saying? 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 You know what your intent and your background and the choices you make and the influences on the choices all make up who you are. At the end of the day, artists ain't no hip hop, people who do hip hop are no different from you. Just your average, ordinary people. They just people who found their gift and they do what it is that they know how to talk to people this way. Just picture this. I'm walking down the road with a police uniform. <laughs> you just got robbed. <laughs> you come up to me like, officer, officer, officer. They the dude is to just rob me. And I turn around and I be like, look, just because I got this, please don't. <laughs> 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 